Hello, welcome to the Noble Leaders Cup. I am Shotlike. This is the first qualifying round game between Anne de Bretagne and Moncut. Anne representing Brittany, Moncut representing Siam. Anne is spiritual and financial, Moncut is philosophical and creative. The Bretons start with fishing and agriculture, while the Siamese starts with mysticism and agri culture let's see the starting positions here we have on the bretagne she is on the eastern part of the eastern continent which is the starting continent next to a river there are gems there is also some oil and there is some fish up there there is a lot of jungle uh, right south of her starting position though let's go and find a monk he starts over here on the western part next to two marbles incense iron uranium and there is cows up there as well let's see let's get this game rolling shall we to figure out who is going to go through to the next round of the cup on the bretagne versus Moncut in the first qualifying round. One city each, different religions, and Moncut is already unhappy with her. Uh, Buddhism for Anne, Hinduism for Moncut. They are far from each other, so the borders are not touching in a little while, but they have met and they are expanding Moncut first to three cities. Among it refers to four as well. That is a slight advantage early game. Let's see if he can steamroll five cities Monkut and Anna is still on three. This could be an advantage six to three Monkut. is expanding really well right now. After the initial phase, seven to three and Monkut eight to four. Monkut has twice the number of cities as Anne this early in the game. That is a huge advantage and now he is nine to four, nine to five. But he seems to be taking over the map now, the starting continent. Nine cities to five. He has taken the coast, both north and south. And it looks like he is on his way to take more of the coast as well and leaving only the inland deserts for Anne now. 9 to 8, 10 to 8, and has gotten up a few more cities of her own now. She has taken that little island down south there, and she has also managed to get the city up north if you see all the way to the northeast. But Monkut, there, uh, well, we do have the war though, we do have the war. 11 cities to 8 for Monkut, and uh, An is down to 0.5 the strength. Point six. We have the peace treaty as well. 11 cities Monkut, 8 cities on the Britain. Going engineering now Monkut. And Monkut has also ended the golden age. He's going for optics and what is next, next for Monkut then? Philosophy, okay. 11 cities to 8, machinery next for Ander Britain. She is 0.5 the strength of Monkut and she really needs to build up some kind of military force here in order to defend the next war at least. 12 cities Monkut now, he has taken up a city up in the north and we have the next war. And it's down to 7 Monkut uh, attacked and took a city almost immediately, 7 cities left for Anne now. 14 to 6 cities left for Anne, Monkut is pushing it now. And he raises another city up there that Anne just founded I think, 15 to 5 is the city count now, Monkut is going astronomy, and is trying to get feudalism, but she is down to 4 cities, I think it is a little bit too late for her now, 4 cities and the Breton, 16 cities Monkut, he has 4 times the number of cities now, even more because Anne is down to 3 cities left now. Turn 276, Monkut is going for the early conquest here. And the Bretagne on three cities, 18 for Monkut. She is not going to get uh, all the way to education, it seems. Two cities left now. One up in the northeast and one on that island in the south. Two cities left for Anne. When will she have only one left? It looks like Monkut is attacking up north first, isn't he? Looks that way, but she still has two cities now. 19 cities and Moncut is settling in the west on the map as well. You can see that. But I really believe that he should just take out the last two Breton cities now and win that conquest victory. She shouldn't let her live too far. He is five times as strong, so we shouldn't have a problem with that. Uh, the problem is if he wants to focus on domination instead of conquest. Going for gunpowder now though. There it is, one city left for Anne. 
One city left around the Britannia and that is down in the south. You see the little white dot on the map, on the minimap. That little white uh, color is the only thing that is left of the Breton Empire. And now once Monkut can ferry a few troops over, he can take that city out and there it is. And it is the Conquest 1917 AD turn 337. And I click none to confirm that Monkut has won a Conquest victory. Congratulations to the Siamese leader for a very good game and advancing to the second qualifying round. Moncut impressed with an easy conquest victory in 1917 AD, turn 337. He declared two wars. The first was a standoff, the second was the one to decide the game. He declared in 1665 on turn 243, and it ended with the conquest victory, as uh, we know, after 252 years or 94 turns in war. Statistics. We see here Monkut is in the pinkish red and then Anne in the white. This is the score. This is the GNP. We have the food uh, production, uh, excuse me, production. And here is the food, power, culture, and espionage. And the uh, demographics show us Ante Britain with 84,000 soldiers left. Yeah. Um, here are the numbers that are worth mentioning, Monkut's numbers. He had almost 11.5 million in population once the game ended. Mm, yeah, 656 is decent. I think these are decent numbers. Top 6 citizen wonders then. No BC wonders in this game and Monkut with all the top 6 cities of course. Statistics done. And the Britannia, nine cities built, six religions founded. In her cities, she built eight lighthouses and granaries and six barracks. As we see a Stonehenge at the bottom there. Let's go page down to see if there is more. One Temple of Solomon is the last on the list of buildings. Her current units, let's go to the top, one settler as it says. She uh, trained a total of 40 chariots, 24 archers and horse archers. And we see there a great scientist is the last unit on that list. The Kilstan, 8 catapults, 7 trebuchet, 6 Siamese battle elephants and knights and 1 crossbowman, the losses were 32 chariots, 24 horse archers, 20 longbowmen and archers and also a Christian missionary at the bottom there. Monkutan, 17 cities built, 1 raised, 1 religion, 1 golden age currently on 36 windmills, 23 farms and towns. In his cities he built 20 barracks, 17 granaries, 15 lighthouses and we see the colossus there at the bottom. Let's go page, um, what did I do there? Go to the top again, page down and we see a Buddhist temple there at the bottom of this list. Current units then, 59 longbowmen, 19 knights and 17 workers and we see a great spider as well. He trained a total of 58 longbowmen, 28 archers, 27 workbots, three great merchants. Let's go page down to see there is a crossbowman at the bottom of that list. Let's confirm the kills then. 32 chariots, 24 horse archers, 20 archers and longbowmen, and a Taoist missionary at the bottom, the losses. 8 catapults, 7 trebuchets, 6 knights and 6 Siamese battle elephants, and then 1 
Caravel. That was the numbers. Congratulations, Monkut, with the advancing into the second round. Let's go and take a look at the victory condition screen first. Here we are on the victory condition screen, and we can see that Monkut with the 66% of the land area wasn't that far away from domination either. He was very far away from culture. He was very far away from Diplo. He could not, he didn't even build the Apostolic Palace or the United Nations. He hadn't, nobody built the Apollo program. So there are uh, no, not much numbers to look at here. Let's go take a look at the cities, of course. And she doesn't have any cities. So we are going to have to turn uh, over to focus on Monkut. Okay. And there she uh, built a city uh, after the game had ended with that settler of hers. That is of no concern, of course, because she didn't have it when the game was finished. Uh, Summit Prakan, Pop 13, Bangkok 12, Peros Gireg uh, 12 as well. And we see they are happy and healthy. Have decent, not good, but at least decent food. Base commerce is also okay-ish, even though it is not impressive by any means. Nowhere near triple digits on any city. Production is, well, a little bit on the lower side, I think, but at least building a lot of units here. So, congratulations then uh, with uh, the advancement to the next round, Monkut. And the next uh, game up is between Antigonus II of Macedonia and Redbad of Friesland. I am sure like this has been the Nobel Leaders Cup. I hope to see you for the next game.